All right, welcome back to episode 45 of the most uneventful podcast ever. What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. That's my cat. Jesus. Um, She's really fat. <laughs> she sounds fat. <laughs> um, I guess I, I guess I pissed off some people last week by not ending the podcast the way I normally do. Oh, what did you do? I don't know. Apparently, I was no. just like, <laughs> apparently I was just like. I mean, you didn't catch it when you listened to it. <laughs> so, what did you say? I, I, like. Just like talking about somebody we were gonna have on in the future. What was it? I don't know. Oh, I don't. I don't remember. I didn't think it was a big deal. What are you supposed to say? What I always say, and they get so offended when I don't. And I think it's hilarious. It's oh. like the best. I really hope we so can. You, huh? I, you just like stop talking after you said that. Like I think I was like, "All right, bye" or some shit. I don't fucking know. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> It just hit end. <laughs> like it just got out. <laughs> like that's it. We out of here, bitch. Um, I hope we have enough to talk about because I literally decided we should do this this afternoon because he, I'm going out yeah. of town once again because the fucking Nationals are in the fucking World Series, whooped fucking the Astros' asses the two first games in Houston, I might add. And I'm definitely going, I'm leaving tomorrow to go. I'm not going to the games. I'm not spending that kind of fucking money, but I want to be in the streets of D.C. when uh, when they win this shit because that shit's going to be fucking dope. So I decided. So if you want to find him, that's where he is. Huh? If you want to, yeah, so... good, good luck. <laughs> good luck finding me. Um, he looks like a guy. Yeah. <laughs> like you would have no idea. I certainly look like a guy. He just looks like a, a re- like a regular guy. <laughs> totally regular guy. Just a normal, regular guy. <laughs> yeah. But he is old, so there's your tip. <laughs> right. Here you fucking go. Anyway. Are you done cracking yourself up? <laughs> no. You sure? No, okay, you said no. All right. Go get it, get it out. Anyway, get your little laughs out. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I have to make an old joke every time, at least once. Oh, oh I know. So. Yeah. Um, anything interesting going? I, see, I, I am the worst at leaving these notes because I just don't ever remember what they mean. Um, where are we at? (laughs) Monday, October 14th. (laughs) Oh, we could talk. Do you remember the first thing? I hope you remember that. I do remember that one. Okay. Um, I have once, once again, for the eighth time, been deleted off of Instagram. So a round of applause for me. Oh, have we not recorded since that? No. Oh, okay. It yeah. happened. It happened that that night the, that we last recorded. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I remember that now. Yeah, I think we can keep it. Honestly, well, I'm not even gonna try to get it back. I just don't care. Yeah, over. That's it. how I feel with mine too. I'm over it. Instagram I don't care. Such trash. <laughs> like Instagram is terrible. So bad. So yeah. fucking bad. There's nothing fun about it. It used to be so fun, but it's just not fun anymore. Yeah. Um. What is say my name all about? Um, I don't remember how it came about, but it was like it was a topic of conversation or something, like how some guys want you to say their name and like why. Like, have you ever been that guy? <laughs> or do you know guys that are like that? Like, why is Say My Name a thing? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, that. I just if don't I, get it. If I have guy friends that are into that, it's not something we talk about. They're not like, hey, dog. 
<laughs> when I'm fucking, I'm like, tell me my name, girl. Tell me my name. <laughs> like, like, I just don't, I don't get it. Like, Men don't talk why? about sex as much as women talk about sex, by the way. Huh? Men do not sit around and talk about sex as much as women do. Oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Because, like, I talk about it a lot. <laughs> oh, I know. I mean, I'm in some group chats with, you know, the majority of them are women. I know. Women are fucking filthy. <laughs> All y'all do is That's talk why about it's weird when I'm dicks, like, you dicks, don't know dicks. what your friends like. I mean, you know, there have been a couple friends over the years that we would fuck chicks together. And I guess we probably talked about sex more than just like like one of my closest friends like very closest friends we rarely talk about sex rarely just and if we do it's not like intimate details first of all nobody none of my friends want to hear the shit that i'm into because they're all so you don't have a friend though that's into the same things i what you don't have a friend that's into the same things as you that's a guy or that you know of uh, I don't. I don't. I would know. I think I would know. I don't know. I know, like, I know, like, kind of what my friend's sex lives are. I would say a lot of them are more on the vanilla side. Mm -hmm. So, but, I mean, they all, they know what I do just because I've put it on display. But I've always talked openly you know, about the filthy, filthy, filthy things I do to women. To so what friends. do your friends think about it? Like, do they, do they, like, live through you? Like, is it something they would want to do, but they're, like, married or something? Nah. They're, nah. like, not into it at all. They don't. You know, it's just, it's like, my boy that's into feet. <laughs> like, Did he it, listen to that episode? I don't know. I, I know he listens from time to time. Um... I may not have told him that we were talking about him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, that's his thing, which I can't, I could never wrap my my mind around. But, you know, he'll bust, he bust my balls about what I'm into. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think the, his is way more weird. For sure. <laughs> for sure. I mean, I agree. <laughs> that I do piss on women, so who knows? <laughs> I don't think that's weird, though. <laughs> it's becoming more and more mainstream. You're all welcome for that. <laughs> all of you. You're welcome. R. Kelly made it a thing. I made it cool, bitches. So, yeah. Um, but, no, I, like, I, I know one of my friends, one of my, one of my closest friends is disgusted by it. <laughs> but, you know. Good for her. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't affect my life. You know. I mean, you're not sleeping with her, so it doesn't matter, right? right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, you know. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> like, I, I prefer, you know, I love to hear bitches call me dad when I'm fucking them, but. Uh, my name? Nah, it really wouldn't do it for me. I I just don't understand it. Like, I wouldn't want someone to say my name. Like, that would be so weird. It would just be Like, weird. I don't even like when someone says my name in conversation. But, like, like so love, you do it. I love doing that shit to bitches. You do it. I and know. I know why you do it. Yeah. So, like, yeah. well, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah. if anybody else does it to me, I don't like it. It's weird. Get some right in the vaginal. <laughs> right in it makes them feel like they're in trouble makes their cunt tingle mm -hmm. and it's funny i have a meme that says that and i've posted it for years and it's like it's like call call chicks by their full name um makes them feel like they're in trouble whatever and i get all these people in my fucking comments <laughs> like Jennifer Smith, <laughs> like not that full name. <laughs> <laughs> Just the first but, like, name. If her name, if if she goes by like Jen, you know Jennifer, or if she goes by Becky, Rebecca, 
you know, I'm telling you, that shit works. That shit, I, mm, mm, that shit works. I can tell by how you're, like, kind of blushing right now. That <laughs> well, I, I call guys by their, their full name. Bitches be trying to do that shit to me. I don't like it. I do it. I literally do it just because I don't, I, like, you can't shorten my name. Like, there's no right. shorter version right. of my name. Right. <laughs> so, I don't like with people you. that have that option. I, they piss me off. <laughs> I mean, with you, you could throw that middle name in there, though. That'll get you. That'll get your attention. I, yeah, people call me that. That. But, that, <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> But yeah, no, I call guys that, like, by their full name because, just simply because I can't, like, I can't, I don't have the option, and I, it makes me mad. <laughs> so it's, it's more like a jealousy yeah, thing. Yeah, you got a little, little issue creeping out there. <laughs> you care to explore this? I mean, I just don't, I don't think it's fair that my name can't be longer. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... What the fuck we were talking about? I just I get mad that I oh my name is it's just one name it can't be anything else and it's unfair that people have choices. Yeah, I can't stand it when when chicks call me by my full name. I'm like nah, nope. Well, you have a few things you could go by, so there's a few things they could call you. Yeah, but like my actual name, which nobody mm-hmm. uses except my immediate family. Like, I don't, I don't not like it when people, when chicks try to pull that shit. I'm like, yo, shut up. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. <laughs> you ain't in my family. I don't, it's weird. I don't think of you with your full name. Like, when I think of you, I think of, like, what you go by. Yeah, I mean, you would never, I don't think anybody would think of me like that. Are you talking about what I go by on Facebook? Because I don't really go by that. Nick, no, by the one shorter than that. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Anyway. Um. Uh, <laughs> so what? Can we talk All right, about yeah, well, let's the... talk. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> and this came about because I was FaceTime with a chick. And she said, my asshole is throbbing. I'm so horny. Is, does your asshole ever throb? I understand what she's saying, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what she's saying, yes. <laughs> Acting like you're on the stand or something, bitch. <laughs> What else did she say about it? Nothing. She just said that her asshole was throbbing. I don't think she had ever had ever experienced that before. And I was like, wow, I gotta, we got to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> so did you ask anybody else? I have not. Because now I'm curious. I have not. But I guarantee you, I mean, I guarantee you this is a fucking thing. Especially if you're a chick that gets fucked in the ass or likes to get fucked in the ass a lot. You know, I'm sure it's a fucking thing. I feel like that's probably what it is. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Does yours ever throb when you're horny? No, cannot say that it does. My balls fucking throb for sure. But no, not my asshole. <laughs> mm, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Is it? (laughs) I feel like I'm pretty okay with it. (laughs) That's because you haven't experienced it. (laughs) (laughs) So it's good, yeah? (laughs) Um, I mean, it's just, it's different, I feel like. Nice. Well, we would love to hear some stories about y'all out there whose buttholes be throbbing. (laughs) Okay. Why do you have to say it like that? And then you say, okay. Okay. 
We want to hear about your throbbing little anus. <laughs> your butthole. The whole butthole. And what do you do when your butthole starts to throb? Do you like it? Do you rub it? Do you do you stick <laughs> things? Do you stick things into it? Hmm? We would like to know. We would like to know. <laughs> We need to know what you do. Now you're acting like you're about to go stick things in your butthole after we're done recording here. I mean, maybe. <laughs> that was a big gulp you took there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe she will. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, it's a possibility. I was talking to somebody. Um about the, the last podcast and she was telling me how I didn't sign off the right way or whatever and I was like whatever and she was like um, you basically were talking about doing the next podcast drunk I was like oh, okay I don't remember she was, <laughs> I was like oddly enough I'm pretty sure I was drunk for that podcast <laughs> she was like wait you were drunk talking about doing a podcast drunk I was like yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> well I feel like sometimes like if you're like a cool amount drunk like you don't really know that you're drunk like you don't think you're drunk until you look back and you're like oh I was drunk Well, when or I at least that's how it is for me when I looked back and was like I do not remember what the hell we talked about on the podcast yesterday <laughs> <laughs> well that's how I am too but I'm not drunk <laughs> I feel like that's how I am too regardless <laughs> I can, I just can never remember. I'm so glad when you write the description because I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't remember. I have to listen to it <laughs> to write the description, and I write it as I listen. So that's how I have to do it because I don't remember either. Like, I already forgot the beginning of this episode <laughs> that we're doing right now. Wow. I'm not that bad. <laughs> talking about the Nationals winning the World Series. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> hmm. I didn't even really, like, take questions this week. I just kind of was winging it. I asked it, like, the last second, and I got one decent, semi-decent question. Mine is dumb. You know, I, I, yeah. Did you ever used to watch How I Met Your Mother? I've seen like episodes here and there, but I've never like seen it all the way through. So you know the character Barney. Is that Doogie Neil Hauser. Patrick Harris? Yeah, Doogie Hauser. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that I'm that old. <laughs> I yeah. don't know what you mean. <laughs> Doogie Hauser. I don't know what that that's is. That's an old. It's the first thing he was ever on. Anyway. Oh. Oh, I don't know that. <laughs> anyway. Um, so his character, I always loved his character. I thought he was fucking hilarious. But his character used to go play fucking laser tag, like, all the time. And I was just like, what is that about? Like, you're a grown fucking man. What are you doing playing laser tag? I love laser tag. <laughs> huh? I love laser tag. It's fucking amazing. I love it. It's a fucking amazing. Yeah, and so is paintballing. Have you ever gone paintballing? Yeah, I've done that. But, I mean, that's not really as accessible to where I live and whatever. But, yeah, but they're both really fun. Yeah, they're both but really like, fun. You know, you know, shooting yes. people is fun, period. Yes. Like, it doesn't, I mean, yes, real, I want to shoot all the people. Fake gun, real gun, it doesn't matter. It's, just all, exactly. it's all fun. Um, But, no, like... <laughs> We went and we went and played and I got to tell you, there is nothing like more, laser tag. There is nothing more satisfying than shooting these little shithead teenagers. I fucking hate them. <laughs> fucking hate them. I love laser tag. It's so fun to shoot them. You're just like, yeah, yeah. Get ready, because that's the rest of your fucking life, dude. Get ready. I I played one time with my best friend, 
And we were like in the middle of the day on like a Monday or something. So like nobody was there. <laughs> and it was just us in the whole room, like the whole little thing. So it was me versus her. That was it. No one else was there. <laughs> and it was the best game I ever played. <laughs> We were literally like rolling on the floor, like flipping around, like we were like little spies. <laughs> oh my god! I told it my, was so much fun. I told my best friend because they have it here. Like you pay ten bucks and it's unlimited. You can play as many games you want. I was like, listen, we need to really think about this. This is, and, and I mean this from a an exercise standpoint. I was like, we need to be going there like to, two, three times a week. <laughs> play 10 games back to back to back solid exercise and that's really what this is about it's about the exercise it's it's not about how fun and amazing and great laser tag is laser tag is so much fun so fucking you gotta, fun do it drunk do it high do it on drugs <laughs> yeah, hey that's that might be a good one depending on the drugs um yeah, I'll try all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, let us know about your um, intoxicated laser tag events. Um, I'm, I'm so bad. Like I was in there sober and that like yelling at my best friend, "Shoot this motherfucker! What is wrong with?" She's like, "You gotta stop talking like that." They're kids. I was like, "I don't give a fuck. Shoot his ass." <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Take that shit seriously because they gloat when they fucking shoot you. They're like, <laughs> I'm like, I will punch you in your face, dude. <laughs> I know. Like, I just feel like I know so much more than you and you're so dumb. Right. You don't even know it. <laughs> you don't even know how dumb you are. <laughs> like, I can't even insult you because you wouldn't know it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? Nothing. What? Fuck you laughing at? <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Nothing. What's all this? Um, Willy Winks, Winks Wonka. <laughs> I was supposed to say Willy Wonka. I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah, I I, I don't remember. I could not tell you. Hmm. So, do you know the thing about it? Did we ever talk about cunt confidence? I think we, I asked you about that yesterday. The juke jukebox shenanigans. Yeah, I do know what that is. There, apparently, so there's apps now. So instead of like walking up to a jukebox and putting money into it, you can download these apps now, and you can control the jukebox from your your app so you don't have to walk your lazy ass over to the thing okay and you can control it from anywhere so like you can be miles away from the bar and still be controlling the music I don't know I just thought it was funny because we were laughing we were sitting in this dive bar that is like you know redneck central <laughs> Okay. We're just ignorantly sitting there playing like Biggie and Tupac and 50 Cent <laughs> back to oh back. My to, oh my God. We're I love it. So ignorant. So, and we're the only two like fucking moving to the fucking music and shit. And everyone else is just looking at us like, who the fuck put this shit on? So how does like, how does, can somebody else play something though? Or like, how yes, do you like take but, control over someone else? So... The person that has the app has the most control. So, like, if you walked over and you put some fucking money in, you get on the app and I can push you to the side and my my song comes before yours. <laughs> it's really... But doesn't everybody have the app to do it? No, some people walk their ass over and put money in the machine because they ain't lazy. Oh, okay. So you have to be lazy to win this competition. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's why we won. <laughs> well, that's good. That's funny. <laughs> totally fucking won. 
So do you just randomly play those songs when you're at home? Yes, actually. <laughs> yes. That is so funny. I love it. I was at the bar the other night, and she's the one with the app on the phone, and she was coming with a bunch of friend, friends of ours, and I was meeting them there, and I'm like, yo, like, I need you to put some music on. <laughs> she was miles away. Sure enough. <laughs> sure enough. That shit came on. I was like, and I texted her. I was like, yo, that shit worked. She's like, no way. I was like, yeah, this this changes the game. We can fuck with people from home. That's so cool. We can just sit around and play Baby Shark to do to do back to back until the bar is empty just for shits and giggles. Oh my God, that's so funny. I would leave. I would leave for real. I would have to leave for sure. Yeah. So, I'm good for maybe a couple couple rounds and then I'm done. I mean, I'm not even good for one. That shit's stuck in your fucking head for the rest of your life after that. It's so bad. It's so bad. But the kids, they really love it. I don't know why. I don't know. They're probably stupid. That's why. I think we established that children 18 and below are just dumb. I mean, I feel like you're still a child probably to like 23. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty accurate. I do think that's accurate. <laughs> okay. And I do think it's 23, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Okay, yeah. You're, you just change so drastically after, like, 23. 22-year-olds <laughs> have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Now that we pissed off a lot of people. <laughs> Our job here is done. <laughs> and good night. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Peace out. <laughs> I would drop the mic, but it was very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Let's see. All right, well, let's take your question. Oh, what was my question? I don't remember. That bottom one you sent in a couple hours ago. Okay. Um what are your limits with fuckboy behavior? Ever ditch someone because they were a little shit in real life, even if they were a good fuck? I say yes, I have. I mean, have all, you? All, all women eventually will not put up with the bullshit anymore. But if you're good, you can ruin their lives for a couple of years before they finally break free. That is true. <laughs> You, if I get two years out of a chick, that was a solid run. Solid run. Yeah. But eventually, <laughs> eventually they're all like, fuck this. Yeah. I mean, you can't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put up with my bullshit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you ever... Oh, well, yeah, you do, probably. What? I mean, I do, even even if they're just, like, if they get clingy and, like, annoying, or it's too much. Oh, that's completely different. I, I can't deal with that. Yeah. That clingy shit. I don't like that. I don't like it either. No, fuck that. Um, or, of, of course, talking about, like, feelings. Like, oh, I really like you. Or I love you. No. Yeah. Gross. Um, I thought that question would give us more to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, I feel like we always like agree, so we don't have like a debate. <laughs> I mean, it's common fucking sense. <laughs> you know? Do we? What ever... about your? What was your question? Hold on, did we ever talk about con confidence? Because I put that in here for a reason. I don't think we ever talked about it. I don't think so. I don't remember it. It doesn't sound familiar. It, it all stemmed from a snap where, I don't know, somebody was talking about their being insecure about their pussy, and I was just like, like, you know, cut that shit out, basically. Like, all pussy is beautiful. It's, it's a fucking pussy, for <laughs> fuck's sake. You know, period. And I don't remember exactly what I said, but so many women were like, oh my God, thank you for saying this, and blah, 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 you're giving us cunt confidence. I'm like the fuck you need me to say some stupid shit for for you have confidence in your vagina man I, listen listen <laughs> mm -hmm. 
There is not one shrimp-dicked motherfucker out here who is embarrassed so much so that he's not going to take some pussy or he's not going to take your sympathy blowjob or what the fuck ever. Why the fuck would you let something like that, like, disturb your happiness? That's a good way to put it, right? Yes. Because your vagina is happiness, you know what I mean? And you can't spell happiness without penis, you know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, like, think about it. Like, vaginas are amazing. That's why they're vaginas. Duh. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever, like, oh man, I don't even know. Well, I think you should just be confident with not just that, like with everything, with who you are, what you look like, everything. For sure. There's ashy penises on the premium. We just talked about exactly. That. Like and you're they're worried, really gross. And you're worried about your vagina? <laughs> Man, as long as there ain't no fucking diseases on that motherfucker, embrace that shit. Yes. Let a motherfucker eat you out. Who gives a fuck what it looks like? Shit. Just always get tested. Gross. Anyway. So, I had to get that out of the way. My question was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Is it an Ariana Grande again? Is it what? You don't remember that one with the concert tickets? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god, that was I cried for like three minutes. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Podcast question. As someone who makes a podcast, do you have any favorite podcasts you listen to other than your own? I actually don't like really listen to podcasts. Um, I don't even listen to my own. I feel like I know what I said, even though clearly I don't know what I said. (laughs) (laughs) You still stand by it, though. That's what matters. Yeah, I stand by what I don't remember saying, of course. Um. I mean, for fuck's sake, we just, our, our president said he was going to build the wall through Colorado, so, you know, sometimes people just don't be knowing shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I, my best friend listens to podcasts, like, pretty much all she does. Not mine, oddly enough, that fucking piece of shit, but uh, sometimes I'll be with her in the car or something, and... She's got this one. I don't know the name of it. Um, it's I don't know if it's strictly mafia based in the New England area. Uh, we listened to like a season one road trip we were taking recently um, about the mafia in Rhode Island, and I'm I'm like I love all that shit, so I was fascinated by it. It was uh, it was very interesting, but. Overall, like, no, I don't really listen to podcasts. I I don't have time to listen to fucking podcasts. I barely have time to make this fucking podcast. (laughs) So, you know, I I work fucking constantly. So, um, you listen to them though, don't you? There's only one that I listen to regularly. I've listened to a couple other ones here and there, but they just don't. They just don't like keep it interesting like i just i just i don't know i listened to a couple episodes and then that's it but there's only one i've listened to basically every episode except for i haven't listened in a few months but that's what i do i like wait a little while and then i binge them yeah and a lot of people tell me they do that with ours too um uh, yeah but all the podcasts all the ones that i've ever listened to they're true crime podcasts yeah that's what i listen to it's all the time my friend will either listen to like political ones or true crime so that's what i hear when i do hear them um but there's some there's some really good fucking podcasts out there <laughs> like way better than ours <laughs> like they produce I them came like... across them i the ones that i've listened to are very boring but i might be because it's true crime i don't know but I definitely agree that there's probably way better podcasts than ours. I mean, these people, you like, they produce it like it's a fucking television show. You know yes. what I mean? 
they put a yeah. lot of time into that shit we well and there's like like famous people that have them so those right. are probably for sure pretty good i'm sure they have staffs writing that shit for them too but <laughs> um so yeah um yeah there's some good ones out there <laughs> yeah <laughs> Listen to ours. I don't know why anyone ours is listens a, to ours. Ours is, a, ours is okay enough. It's all right. Just listen. Just keep listening. It's totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good. Ours end. is the only one that matters. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because we're clearly getting rich from this. Clearly. We are very professional, also. I want to take this shit on the road. I want to do this shit at a live fucking forum where it's interactive with the audience. I want to do that shit. I would do that if I'm getting paid some good money. <laughs> we have, we're not going to do it for free. Okay. Obviously. People would have to pay to come. But I feel like L.A. or New York would be like the best place to do like to start it. Yeah. Let us know what you think. I would be so nervous. Like, that's going to be my drunk episode. <laughs> 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 that's. If you want to have the drunk episode, that's how we have to do it. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Alrighty. Anyway. It'll be a good time. I think it would be fucking amazing. I, I know the people that subscribe to my fucking Snapchat. They are, like, there's some really funny fuckers out there. You know, so I know it would be hilarious. I mean, if, if we made it interactive with the audience, are you fucking kidding me? It'd be yeah. hilarious. I think a lot of people want to see what we look like, too. Yeah. So we sure. can disappoint them. Yeah. Which is why, that's why this is audio. Surprise. <laughs> Got your motherfucking ass. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Anyway. Um, I guess we should start to wrap this up. Um, Got to give a shout out to adamandeve.com. They sponsor our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Shockingly enough. <laughs> We're good enough to get a sponsor. <laughs> I think it was a pity sponsorship because <laughs> I work with them <laughs> in so many other areas. <laughs> but a sponsorship nonetheless. <laughs> Uh, no, I actually, like, I really fuck with them, and they are offering a bunch of free stuff, um, plus 50% off your, uh, just 50% off one item, but they throw in a bunch of different, uh, extra toys and movies and shit like that, um, you can go to adamandeve.com and use code Fuck boy, all one word, at checkout. And it should get you 50% off one item, free shipping, and a bunch of other free shit that you can stick in your butthole. In your throbbing butthole. And it's and you get free stuff, so that's cool. We all like I free just stuff. said you can stick the free stuff in your butthole. Oh, well, we love free stuff and in your stuff in our buttholes. Well, <laughs> all right. So it's just all around like a great time. Yes. Get your throbbing butthole taken care of at adamandeve.com. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't actually. I mean, they told, they told me I could do it in my own fashion. I just really hope they don't listen to that. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, this one's probably a little shorter than normal, but at least we got one out before I'm gone for a couple of weeks, but it won't be that long. I should be back in like two or three weeks. What? Nothing. I'm just hearing a lot of sounds out there. I'm scared. <laughs> it's your fat cat. <laughs> All right. Wrap it up, giggles. Okay. Um, sweet dreams. Nighty night. You look like you're about to go to sleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> stretching fuck off all right well dream of that pussy being tight dream of a throbbing little butthole mm. yes that too yes 
tight pussy and throbbing asshole. Mm. Yum. All for you, whatever your name is, because I don't know. It's daddy, bitch. What? What did you say? <laughs> I said it's daddy, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I was like, why is she paused like that? <laughs> I did not hear you at all. All right. We're so good at podcasting. Dude, like crushing it. We have 45 episodes in this motherfucker. <laughs> we are killing it. We are killing the game. Yeah, man. All right. I guess I'll give you whores what you want this time. Always be a whore. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just don't want to do it just to piss these bitches off. Don't do it. No, I'd rather have them wet than pissed off. What? I'd rather they be wet than pissed off. This time. Okay. So, remember, <laughs> always be a good girl for daddy. You filthy little slut. Goodbye.